Hey everyone, it's me, Clay and Kano, here for another video today. Today's video is going to be a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for January, January 10th, 2024. And today is Wednesday, and normally I'll be at my work today, but however, um, I'm actually off work today because today at my work, um, Monday and Tuesday, we had little, very little work orders, so my work decided to um, select a few people at my work that we could have today off, and I was one then, so I got a day off today, and for that, I decided to go ahead and make this video, so yep, for this update, I have 9 VHS tapes, 4 DVDs, and 12 Blu-rays to show for this update, so anyways, let's get started, first, first we're going to start off the 9 VHS tapes, which all these I got from eBay using, while using my $50 eBay gift card that I got for Christmas, the first four are clamshell cases. This this first one's an MGM Great Books on Video VHS tape. This is an MGM film. This is the 1952 version of, of Iva, Ivanhoe. This one's a Columbia Tristar Family Collections collection tape. I do have the first, um, The Trouble with Angels Me on VHS, which is also a Columbia Tristar Family Collection VHS tape. Now I finally got the sequel when where Angels Go, Trouble Follows. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. The fifth week of night time six. And this next one's a smaller clamshell tape. And this is an Anchor Bay clamshell tape. This is part of the Independent Classics Collection. This is the original 1972 version of Sloop, which I have the 2007 remake on DVD. Now I finally got the original Sloop on VHS. This is, the, this is, this is a widescreen tape as well. Well, this is actually a video treasures tape, but it was also released by Anchor Bay Entertainment, but this tape just has the video treasures logo at the beginning. I think it's the 36th day of Night High 8. And since this is an Anchor Bay VHS clamshell, it has... The re reversible in reversible cover as well. And here's the last clamshell tape for the subject, which I got this in the mail today. This is a Warner Brothers clamshell VHS tape from the 1980s. Part of the comedy genre. Got the tan lid. Former all for some unknown video store. And, and the tape has the big W Warner Home Video logo at the beginning instead of the Chi Chi Shield. And the other five tapes are slipcover cases. And, and out of these slipcover cases, f f all f five, well, all of them except for one are demo tapes. That I have in this update, so let's continue. This 
This is another RC Claim Pictures Home Video demo tape that I have in my collection. This movie is released by Columbia Pictures, but however, um, the Columbia Pictures logo is not shown on this tape, however, surprisingly. This one's another Paramount demo tape. I actually did not know notice that this demo tape exists. There's act there's actually two copies of this on eBay, but I got this one for $9.95, which is a really good deal. And rest in peace and rest in peace, Jim Brown, who passed away last year. Has print, so we all know what this has the end. The 52nd week of 1992, this is a 1993 VHS, but this is a demo tape. Very lucky to get this one. This one's a Merrimax demo tape. February 21st, 1997, and this next slipcar is the only um, slipcar case, that, slipcar tape that's not a demo tape, but it's the but it's a retail VHS tape. This is the 1993 um, English English remake of The Vanishing. There's also 1988. This is a remake of the 1988 Dutch film, which I've yet to get some time. And this remake was and this remake was actually directed by the same director as the original Dutch language film, George Slutzer, where he pronounced his name. This is a former all from Blockbuster. The 26th week of 1993. And here's the last tape for this update. Columbia Tressor Demo Team. This movie is released by Sony Pictures Classics. This is one of three Sony Pictures Classics movies that I have in this update. This movie is in Russian with yellow English subtitles. I don't think this movie is out on DVD yet. But I think it's only available on VHS. Next up, next up we have, next up we have four. That's it with the VHS tapes. Now let's get on to the four DVDs, which these four DVDs I got from Amazon.com using my Amazon Christmas gift card money. Got four DVDs along with the 12 Blu-rays. Rays. And these first three DVDs are Universal DVDs. This movie I've been trying to get for a very long time. This movie I this movie I did have I did have this movie on DVD, but my copy was the original Good Times Home Video DVD release. But I decided I decided to replace that copy with this Universal copy as copy instead because this one has the movie in widescreen while the Good Times one's just in full screen. And plus, this one has better picture quality.
This is a 1940 film from Paramount. This is one of the many Paramount films that was given to Universal. And here's the last DVD for the subject, which this one's a Warner Brothers DVD. This is a Warner Archive DVD. I also have I also did I also have three Warner Archive Blu-rays that I have in this update, which I'll show soon. This is a 1928 movie from Warner Brothers. And lastly, here are the 12 Blu-rays for this update, which all these I got from Amazon, along with the four DVDs that I showed. So, so, he, so let's continue. And this first one is one of three Warner Archive Blu-rays that I have in this update. This is an MGM film from 1949. This movie was nominated for Best Picture of 2017, which that one lost to The Shape of Water. This is the second film that I have that's released by Sony Pictures Classics in this update. I also, I also heard really good things about this movie, so that's I decided to go ahead and order this one. I do know this, and I think this, I believe this movie won Best Adapted Screenplay at the Oscars. I have the first two Kree movies on Blu-ray, and now I finally got Kree 3. This, is a, this movie's from MGM, but it was released on DVD and Blu-ray by Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. This movie, this movie looks really good in my opinion, so I decided to go ahead and get this on Blu-ray. And this is another movie from movie that was made by MGM, but was released on Blu-ray and DVD by Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. And this, along with Creed, do not have the Warner Brothers Home Entertainment logo at the beginning. And not only Chain and Tam starts the movie, but he also direct co-directed this movie as well. This is the second War Archive Blu-ray that I have in this update. This one I had on VHS, but I decided to get this one on Blu-ray because I heard so many good things about this movie. I do know Doug Jones of the Nostalgia Critic really likes this movie. I always wanted to see this movie as well.
This is another movie that I had on DVD, but I decided to get it on Blu-ray. Columbia Pictures movie. And here's the last Warner Archive Blu-ray that I have in this update. This and this is another movie I've been wanting to get for a very long time. Now I finally have in my collection. This is a Warner Brothers movie from 1927, and this was the very first first talkie film ever made. This comes in 2019 Warner Archive Blu-ray case, but the Blu-ray itself still the 2013 Blu-ray release. This was originally released in 2013 on Blu-ray as a digi pack, but digi book, but that went out of print, so Warner Archive re-released it. This. It also has two DVD copies of the supplements, which is pretty cool. And they actually did have the Disney book release on Amazon for $18, but this one was cheaper, so I decided to go ahead and get this one instead. This one, and here's the last Sony Pictures classic movie that I have in this update. This movie looks pretty interesting, so I went ahead and ordered this one. This movie, this movie looks pretty fun in my opinion, so I decided to go ahead and give this movie a try. Even though I think this movie got really negative reviews when it came out. Fox was like Pictures movie movie and this movie and this is the, and this movie I've been wanting to check out for a very long time after reading about it, so finally got a copy of this movie at movie. The back of this ad is blank, so not showing it. And these last two Blu-rays I'm showing for this update are both MVD Rewind Collection Blu-rays. And both these movies I had at one point, but I decided to upgrade these to Blu-ray. This one I had on DVD, which was a 2021 Deuce Entertainment DVD release, but I decided to get this one on Blu-ray instead. This is number 46 in the Rewind Collection. Because I, because I decided... Because I got rid of all my MGM Deuce Entertainment DVD releases because those are really cheap. And so I get a better copy of those releases instead. This movie is from Epic Productions. But it's owned by MGM. And here's the poster for the Blu-ray cover. It has reversible cover art. Fortunately, this this one did not come the slipcar case, but I wish it did. And here's the last Blu-ray for this update. And this movie I had on VHS, but I decided to get this one on Blu-ray instead. Side number 45.
This is movies from, and this movie is also from Epic Productions. And once again, it also has the poster thing. And reversible cover art. Once again, did not come with subcard case, but I'll live with it. And that's it for my VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for January 10th, 2024. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys later for more videos coming soon.